It's your boy Zay P, Zay P to I am. I am that I am, as you are that you are, for we are all that we are. <laughs> Let us begin. For all of you just coming online right now, thank you so much for joining. So okay, me... so my Lyran guys are starting to come in here. Mm. Mm. Guys, we're just going to let you flow, AP the I am. All who wants to come in and deliver messages. We are so open to receive at this time. Thank you so much for this moment of now. It's all of this that comes in. And, okay, so all we're going to stepping forward. With all of the information that comes in and that we bring forth through these galactic channels, uh, even through the higher dimensional gateways, when this information comes forth, it is for you to integrate. It is for you to translate, to take into yourself as your form of truth, transmute it and express it as the crystals, as the fractals that you are, express it in your own divine ways. And so with that, we know that a lot of people come into these experiences to, for the novelty of it all, for, the, for just the inspiration, the momentary feeding. But through this dialogue, through this intersection that we're having between us galactic and higher dimensional beings and yourselves, we want you to integrate this knowledge, integrate this information into yourself. See how the truth this particular version of truth resonates with you, resonates with you, your truth, and how that may influence you, how you may integrate these lessons and this knowledge into your everyday life to make it practical and not just a bedtime story that you heard on 8 8. That is so beautiful. We have a question from our folks joining us in the live session, and the question is how do we manage? For it not to overtake our 3D world and still remain present in the 3D and not get just getting lost in the 5D. Mm. Yes. It's a great question. The 3D is a great distraction, isn't it? It's a beautiful game. It's a wonderful illusion. And you do allow yourselves to get very caught up in it. But with a good reason, because in actuality, it is the practicality of your life. For you to be here in this physical experience, which you came, you incarnated it. So you are here in some way or another because you want it to be. For you to be here in that experience, it means that this idea of Hmm. Trying to find the words to paint the picture. You need the 3D experience to play out the role that you wanted to play. Hmm. You came here to play a role. And so you need to maintain that 3D experience. And so it is very reasonable that you would be invested in all of this while you are here, as you should be, because that's the experience. But with that said, when you know that there is more, it is very easy to become consumed and to want to just reside in that space. But you have to understand that everything is multidimensional, right? Just like your mind and your body. You can have thoughts and you can be driving a car someplace and not even realizing it's, but at the same time, it is the same being. It's all you, but you were split into two. You were bilocating within your physical vessel. Well, this is what's happening in the universe, right? And so with that, it's understanding that you can be aligned with higher dimensional truths, with galactic wisdom. You can be aligned with all of these experiences and living your life on a day-to-day -day plane as needed for the experience to continue. The mistake is in thinking that it has to be a separation. It has to be different, that you cannot be one and the same. Everything you do is sort of quote unquote spiritual. Everything you do is all about frequency and vibration. This is how we interact with this experience. 
And so it's not so much about keeping them separate. It's more about, again, living life in a way that is according to your highest truth. And when you do that in your day-to-day experience, you are living in these higher, according to these higher dimension of wisdom. You are living in this higher way. It's not something that you need to think about it, but you think about it now as you're starting to become more aware and awake to the, ex- the experience of it all. You become more aware and away to it and realize, oh, wow, there's all this other stuff going on. I've been here on the 3D. There's all this other stuff going on. And so you start paying attention there. And now you're feeling like there's this great divide. But once you come to this ther- the zero point, when it's again, this place where you're living your life in truth and in according to your highest truth and wisdom, then you start to bring all of this higher dimensional, all this stuff going on up here, it starts to live out in you just like you're living through the 3D. You will be living through the 5D. You will be bringing both experiences together in one as opposed to this vast gap or difference. It's the Mm -hmm. way you're thinking that's making you feel that it is a separation and that you have to pick and choose. You only have to pick and choose when you're choosing not to live in alignment in accordance with your highest truth. Mm -hmm. Should you do that, which I know is very difficult, because sometimes our highest truth feels like I'm being selfish, or sometimes our highest truth feels like <sighs> people won't like it, others will judge. All sorts of reasons to fear, but once you do, it's almost as though you create this energetic bubble around you that is going to protect you, that is only going to attract that which is meant for you, and repel what is not meant for you, and allow you to be just in alignment in all of your worlds. No more separation. All is one. Mm. Mm. So do you have any advice for our sweet little human selves and to help us on that journey, on on the road towards unity, Mm -hmm. towards coming together? Are there Mm -hmm. steps we can take Mm -hmm. as as a human, as you're saying, to get to the highest truth of ourselves? Mm. Any yes. advice on that? Yes, yes. <sighs> so, advice. Advice from a higher dimensional perspective. Advice from your star seed guides. Advice from your highest self. Say it again. <laughs> <sighs> On your planet, there are many different approaches to life, and there are many different approaches to spirituality. There are many different approaches to self-development. There are many different approaches to understanding the mind, one's own mind. If you wanted to go more tra- traditional route, religious route, organized religious route, then we would suggest something like a Buddhism. Mm. for whatever you do to try to bring yourself into alignment on a day-to-day experience will have to become a practice. So you will have to be become coming to a point where you are putting certain things into your life as a practice. This is where we work on self-discipline and will. So if you did something like a Buddhism and you started to work on certain practices like meditation, breath work, something consistent that you could work on that could help you cultivate that internal realm, this would help to start to bring things more into alignment. As you start to develop concepts like mindfulness, you come into a place where you can begin to be mindful in your day-to-day moments, mindful of what's happening around you, mindful of picking and choosing your words, the ways in which you choose to respond, Now, this takes a lot of practice. This takes a lifetime for most people. It takes many, many lifetimes in truth, which is why we have reincarnated cycles. Mm. But with that, if you're conscious, if you're aware, if you're awakening and recognizing that we are doing a, a level of work here, then you will understand that there's a need 
to bring these things into practicality through practice, through consistent, regular effort. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be like a drill sergeant. It doesn't have to be like a negative experience, but it is an invitation for you to build your will. And so with regards to something like an organized religion, uh, Buddhism is something that could be beneficial. Hmm. Other religions will also work if they have practices, regular practices like a prayer. But if you recognize that these are practices to allow you to cultivate certain concepts like mindfulness, like presence and awareness, if your particular practices help cultivate these things, it will be good for you. I mean, if you wanted to go away that was not religious or spiritual at all, you could do things just like exercise, but it's like a regular going outside, grounding, doing your exercise out in nature, mm -hmm. bringing yourself to the present moment in harmony with nature. You reflect on things that will help cultivate your mindfulness, your present moment awareness. You'll bring yourself to a place of calmness in your equilibrium that as you walk throughout your daily life, You'll be more harmonized. You'll be more balanced. You won't feel the need to fly off at that slightest trigger. You become more balanced. As you start to maybe work out or exercise more, you'll find yourself needing to get rest a little bit more consistently. Mm -hmm. You'll find your body getting more healthy and feeling better as you move around day to day. And so this will help cultivate these things that will allow you to begin to live your highest truth, thus bringing the different realms into balance. Mm. If you wanted to just work on your brain and psychology, then there are things in psychology that would help. Psychology itself, neuro and linguistic programming, learning about the brain, such as elasticity and uh, epigenetics. You know, Dr. Brian L. Weiss and uh, others have talked about this. Joe Dispenza. Um, when you start to understand the brain, you start to learn how to carve out new neurons, new pathways that will allow you to develop new habits. Again, back to practice. Mm. You start to develop these new habits, these new ways of being that will be beneficial to you. Then you will start to find yourself again, living closer in truth and bringing the world into balance. Beautiful, beautiful.